Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my controller collection series and today we're going to be going over a lot of PlayStation 3 controllers. Well, welcome back to another controller collection. And honestly, I think that this is probably one of the stranger ones that I've got. The PlayStation 3, when it came out, it had its basic two, its its basic controller, and they even evolved it a little bit from the six axis to the DualShock 3. And then they just kind of went a little bit off the wall and yeah, it was uh, it was kind of odd to see Sony taking so many different risks with these odd oddball controllers and stuff, especially with the PlayStation 3. But I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next video. Here we go. We've got the PlayStation Move charge base with the navigation controller and the Move controller. Uh, it's basically the same thing as the one for the PS4, except for the connector down here is a little different. Here's the navigation controller. It has the analog instead of the, the bulb, and these just plug in here pretty easily. They only go in one way, so you can't put them in backwards, and it charges them. Next, we're going to go over some DualShock 3s. And I've got a few of them. Oops. So, uh, these are the colors that I have. I have red, blue, white, and black. I actually prefer the white one quite a bit and the blue one for some reason. Most of the time though, earlier I was using the red one quite a bit. I just didn't like using the black ones just because there was a risk that would it, that it was a six axis and not a DualShock 3. Next we have the PlayStation Eye. This one actually has a TV holder on it, but this is the basic PlayStation Eye. It's USB. Uh, there's the close setting and the far setting. It's just the focal length is what that twist does. It has a microphone at the top and I, it works pretty well. And finally we have the PlayStation keyboard. I always like having keyboards on my controllers just because I don't like the hunt and peck method that they use on screen. It's just kind of annoying to me. It charges with a USB right there and it actually clamps onto a controller grab the white controller and demonstrate clamping it on. So just simply pull this back. It goes over and like that. And it's a little bit on the cumbersome side and it does not, it's a little front heavy and you can't you have a hard time plugging into the normal charger. You have to actually use a cable to charge this one if you're gonna do it like that. But I usually just leave the thing not hooked up anymore because there's not much of a need for that. That's it. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.